It has been one choppy week in the Bitcoin market this week. After Monday's strong start, we ended up flushing out not only the lows of the week, but also the lows of the previous week. This of course caused liquidations from irresponsible over leveraged traders and triggered a bunch of stop losses for some day traders because day traders like to use lows of the week and lows of previous weeks. So on Monday's video, we told you that the supports were 60K, which of course we dropped under and 58,000 was the very next support. Remember we mentioned this over here. So a lot of traders see these same levels and what they do is they set their stop losses right beneath them, right? So what do market makers do for fun? They like to go just beneath those where they know a lot of day traders are placing their stop losses, stopping them out, and then of course, moving the market back up. So now that the market makers got their fix of liquidations and we've gotten a bounce here, what else is brewing right now in the market? Well, another thing is that options expiration contracts have all closed today. So we no longer have to worry about people trying to push the prices down just due to the contracts, at least for this month. And of course, we are only two days away from the monthly close and jumping into November, which is historically another very bullish month for Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we're currently about to close this month over the weekend and what we can expect in November. Let's dive in. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower the community with the knowledge and resources to take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications. If you enjoy the video, smash that like button. Of course, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. So the first topic of discussion for today's video is a trade recap of Monday's trade setups that we gave you guys. So there were two trade setups that really actually hit this week from Monday's video. So let's go over those main two setups. The main one was, and the, the probably the best one would have been the 60K entry here. If you could have wrote it to the top, that's about a 5% profit there. If you're using 10X leverage like us, that was around a 50% move. Even if you just, if you closed right at this moment, it's about 35% profit on that move. Now, if you did not catch that one and instead took the 62K entry, you could have still done about 16% profit on that. And you could have also entered on multiple times. So the price has been ranging here and it's been, you know, it's hit 60K multiple times. So, you know, you could have entered the 60K range Sorry, it's up here. And if you got lucky enough to catch that $58,000 entry, we weren't able to catch it because it happened very quickly and we weren't on the computer at the time. But if you guys did catch it, that would have been an amazing move there. So if you guys missed out on those trade setups, do not worry because this week was a little choppy. So it was hard to actually make some good profits. But we today we will also be giving you some, some trade setups for this weekend as we move into November. So as the month of October, comes to a close, you see that yet again, we were right with our prediction that October would be bullish. This month, we've had a 41% move to the upside, which was even more bullish than last year's move, which was only 28% in October. What happened last year in November, it was even more bullish. Last year in November, we moved up 42%, which is pretty much where we're at right now in October. So if we were to close at the current price and move up similar to last year, 42%, that gives us a target of 88 thousand dollars now you might think to yourself hmm that number sounds very familiar well if we pull up our fibonacci extensions here one of the targets that it gives us is right around that same area so now because the dip was a little bit further they this one changed a little bit and this one as well but you can see that right in between there this is around eighty four thousand this one's around ninety four thousand so that's actually one of our targets 
for the next move up once we break above this this all-time high here now since we're talking possible price targets in by the end of this year let's go ahead let's continue this for a little bit this chart here basically shows the bitcoin's price in 2012 16 and 20 so 20 is the red line that's where we currently are right now and the other two of course are 2012 and 2016 so if we were to go to the levels of 2012 that of course would basically take us to what one million dollars right if we were to go to the height of 2016 then we're talking about a quarter million dollars at that point now if you use a stock to flow model target that gives us a target of about one hundred thousand dollars and if you use the stock to flow x model or target that gives us a target of around it looks like what like half a million dollars and those targets are based basically on the before the next halving event but you can see that usually the climax of the halving comes within this period here and that's basically the period that we're currently entering into that seems to be between 12 to what 20 months or so so could this be the final leg up of the current bull run history says that it is as you guys can see here and here as well so one of my favorite things to look at right now is this plan b prediction here where he predicted august 47k september 43k and october 63k so far he's three for three so what did he say in november so you can see here in november he is calling for 98 thousand dollars and by december he is calling for 135 thousand dollars for bitcoin you can see in this reply by another respectable analyst that he says that this is confluent with his worst scenario which is 127 thousand for bitcoin by the end of year his theory is based off the elliott wave theory here where he's pointing out that we've hit one two three four and then that fifth and final wave is way up here his his fifth and final wave is actually around $230,000 for Bitcoin by end of year. So pretty crazy. So I will keep updating you guys on this, of course, as we progress through November and December. And if anything changes, I'll, of course, I will always let you know. Okay, so now let's go back and take a look at where Bitcoin currently is and you know what we can expect possibly over the weekend. So you can see that right now after the big impulse move up, we're currently in a consolidation pullback retracement pattern, right? This is a bull flag pattern. Bull flag patterns are bullish. This usually happens during uh, moves, moves to the upside. And typically what happens after a move, it consolidates for a while, which creates this, what looks like a flag, right? And because it's going up, it's considered a bull flag. And then after, uh, you know, consolidation for a bit, it continues in the same direction as the previous move and as, as the trend. So that is currently what we're watching right now. You can see we've kind of put here, we've drawn the area of the bull flag and we've drawn the possible ranges here, right? So you can see that we had almost a breakout here out of the bull flag today, but we were still facing that resistance right there that's not letting us break out, but we can eventually break out here. It might be, you know, later today, or it might be, if it's not today, then it would most probably be on Sunday going into Monday. So that breakout level is probably, it's kind of around that 62,500 area, right? The top of this. But if you wanna be safer, cause, cause this could be a lot of fake outs here, right? So to try to play a little bit safer, I would play it right above the high of the day here. The high of the day is currently at $63,050. So you can put your order at $63,051 if you want. And that would be the a possible breakout area there because a breakout above this could potentially lead us at least to around 65,000. And if we get through 65,000, then we should be retesting previous all time highs. And usually if we re retest previous all time highs, it leads to another breakout where we can again set new all time highs. And that should probably be, I would say, at the next level. Uh, if we break this, would probably be 70,000. 
So, so a move from the breakout point to the previous all time high is about six and a half percent. And a move to 70,000 would be about 10, a 10%, 11% move, right? So, I mean, do you think we're going to hit 11%? or more in November, I definitely believe so. So let's say that maybe we don't hit 42% like last year and like we just did this month, right? Let's say instead we hit a moderate conservative 20% in November. That, that puts us at $75,000 per Bitcoin, guys. Just a quarter away from 100K. And if we hit 75,000, guys, what's stopping us from just continuing up and hitting at least 100K by December, right? At this point, it's only a 58% move. That's not much in Bitcoin or in crypto. Guys, we're right there. We're literally on the doorstep. All right, so I rambled on about predictions for long enough. Let's go ahead and take a look at some possible trade entries that we will be watching throughout the weekend here. So I've already mentioned that first trade setup above this breakout level, right? So that's above $63,050. Now, if we see any pullbacks, as you know, over the weekends, there's usually a low volume. We could potentially pull back. So that first entry I'm looking on the pullback is 62,000. So I'm looking, of course, bounce back entry. The second entry is going to be 60,000. And then the third entry is going to be back down here at the lows that we set this week, which is $58,000. That's also very close to what the bottom of this flag would be. All right, so that's it for us, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed all the videos we did this week. We, we dropped a ton of content this week. Hopefully you guys were able to catch all of it. If you didn't guys make sure that you're subscribed to the channel with the notifications on don't forget if you enjoy the videos to smash that like button and if you have any questions about anything that we cover drop it in the comments as always i appreciate you guys tuning in i'll see you guys on the next one as always peace and love